local skydiver is hitting a major milestone today, marking his 500th Why jump with one arm. A skydiving accident seven years ago left him with eight broken bones and the loss of his left arm. Our SoCo CW star Christina DeWittowitz tells us his story and why he says skydiving now is not just about the adrenaline rush. Christina? That's right. Tommy Ferguson tells me he's the first one arm skydiver in the world without a prosthetic. Now, with more than 800 jumps total, he's helping other amputees complete their bucket list by checking off skydiving and showing how an accident doesn't define who you are. At 48, Tommy Ferguson had been skydiving for five years and was even an instructor at High Sky Adventures. It was just a fun jump with me and with two other jumpers. Everything seemed to be going fine other than the winds were pushing out of the south. In 2011, he was on his 343rd jump when something went wrong. I got a 180 degree turn for the wind, it started coming at my back and a downdraft at the same time and I was going extremely fast coming in and on landing. The last thing I remember is, oh, I don't want to hit the trailer. But he did. The crash, breaking several bones and eventually costing him his left arm. Are you okay? But that wouldn't keep him out of the sky. He jumped again just eight weeks after his accident. And at that particular time, there was no one else in the world jumping with one arm. I'm actually literally the first one-arm skydiver in the world without the use of a prosthetic. Tommy and his wife Kathy wanted to help others like him who are facing tough times and started their nonprofit Class Life in 2012. We want to help people keep their passion and independence, and that's what Class Life does, like fi help finding them resources to do so. Due to a tragedy or incident or accident or just maybe life events, in general. Tommy is still a skydiving instructor, but he now focuses on working with his students and other amputees. It's not about an adrenaline rush. It's more about just watching other people, you know, break down obstacles that they don't want to deal with anymore. He hopes others can learn from his experience and clasp life every day. Hold on to life, you know. You can still live just because you have a tragedy or something like that. That's not what defines you. It's what you do thereafter, and that's how I look at it. <laughs> Now, Tommy tells me he didn't want and never planned on getting a prosthetic arm as he's learned to adapt and do things differently. And if you're interested in jumping with him or want to learn more about his nonprofit, Clasp Life, we have a link online. Just look for this story on SoCoCW.com.